Hey, everyone. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome to our September Vibrational Upgrade and Clearing Activation Call. Tonight, Dr. Allison is, yay, over in Glastonbury, England. She's there prepping to be with her mastermind students who are coming in over the next week or so. She's going to be initiating them into the practices of vibrational upgrades so that they can become practitioners of this fantastic free healing, freeing and healing energy system and changing creation system. Glastonbury is known as the heart chakra of the world, and it's also the land of, of magic, really. It's King Arthur, Avalon, Stonehenge, and so much more. Dr. Allison will be there spending time at sacred sites and stone circles, harnessing energy from the Earth's ley lines, which are conduits for the Earth's spiritual electromagnetic field and energy. And then she's going to be able to then share this down with the Earth and those who she serves. You've seen some of this. You got a little taster a couple days ago when Dr. Allison shared um, fertility blessings from a megalithic longborough. If you haven't seen that yet, please do check out your email. It's really powerful. You can feel free to use it as long as you need or when at any time that you need to upgrade fertility in any area of your life. It's super cool. Um, so I want to do a little introduction and share a bit about Allison, especially with those who haven't been on this call tonight. We've got a lot of new people here, a lot of familiar folks too, some people who are grounding down energy in Minnesota. There you go. Shannon, shout out. So um, I wanted to give you a little reminder because the evolution of vibrational upgrade has a lot to do with, uh, with the conscious choices that Allison's made throughout her whole life choosing, and that's a huge part of, of the backbone of vibrational upgrade choice. So after getting her bachelor's and master's degrees, Allison focused her energy on a career in politics with a goal to improve the environment through conservation. Though her passion was strong, the machine at that time in the early 90s was really focused on fossil fuels, and, and she realized that her mission really would be best served by focusing on one person at a time. So she made a choice and left this western side of the earth and headed to the east, Taiwan, to study subtle energy. And she was also teaching at that time. She was doing energy medicine and wellness sessions on the time at that time and training people. And she returned after a full 10 years of being in Asia. And she didn't even realize how much more magic she was armed with at that time. And it was really cool. And those experiences coupled with, like I said earlier, choice, upon choice, upon choice, have formulated the, the basis of vibrational upgrade. She's been practicing as a mind-body energy healer for more than 30 years and has been working in yoga, meditation, qigong, energy medicine, mind-body fitness, nutrition, longevity, holistic health. And she's the only one that I'm aware of who really understands the flow of energy from the physical body to the plane of the universe and through it and up, all over. Um, as I mentioned earlier, she spent a decade in Asia studying subtle energy, which allowed her to become the expert in this field. She's also got a specialist um, degree in holistic health, a PhD as a holistic life coach, and certification as a be behavioral change specialist. She's also considered to be one of the leading experts in her field, and more specifically, the chakra system and using that as the roadmap for thriving in the mind, body, and spirit. And it's applied in a really unique way. Dr. Allison's background has set her up to be able to share the stage and collaborate with thought leaders like David Wolf, Bruce Lipton, Krishna Das, Bob Proctor, Reverend Michael Beckwith, David Wilcox, and Dr. Mercola. In addition to her vast collaborative network, Dr. Allison is an internationally best-selling author, her books include What's the, What If There's Nothing Wrong. She then wrote Vibrational Upgrade, A Conspiracy for Your Bliss, Easing Humanity's Evolutionary Transition. I mean, what a title, Easing Humanity's Evolutionary Transition. That book was endorsed by Yogi Amrit Desai. He's the founder of the Kripalu Yoga Institute and a client. 
Um, her last internationally best-selling smash book is called Reasonable Dragons, How to Activate the Field of Possibilities Where Logical Magic is the New Normal. That was endorsed by both Bob Proctor and Joe Vitale. That one's available via, I don't know if that one's available via Audible. I think it's just book form at the moment, but hint, I think it has to be Audible soon. Anyway, um, I totally recommend this brilliant book for everyone. Um, I think I really screwed that up. Anyway, the I'm sorry. The latest book is actually the Dragon Master Creatrix, Conversation with, with a Female Spiritual Teacher for These New Times. That one was released in January, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Reasonable Dragons came out the year before. But Dragon Master Creatrix is really cool because it is about a woman who travels internationally to the UK to be on a retreat to be trained in energy medicine. And voila, that's what's happening right now with the Dragon Master and Mastermind students who are making their way over to England to meet up with Allison to learn just this. So you can get a sneak insider peek into the secrets and the techniques that Dr. Allison uses with her Dragon Master students. They go around and, and visit sacred sites stone circles, learn how to work with them all as well as dragons. Um, that's really cool. There's a lot of attunement and and circle activity that is really fun and um, also very, very powerful. And I've never experienced, experienced anything like that on the planet. Um, the dragons are a really interesting part. Um, a lot of you aren't really familiar with that, I'm sure. But it's part of it is learning how to work with the land with our own high vibrations and then in turn work with the energy of the land and ultimately clear it to serve the earth. And that's how really the dragons come in and it's in part why her mastermind students are called dragon masters. So it's super fun and that's a little more probably info than I wanted to share. But I wanted to backtrack and, and tell you that that is the latest book. So uh, soon when Dr. I think you're already on Dr. Allison, but if you're going to be taking calls from people, everyone, all you need to do when she when she asks is just press star 2 to raise your hand if you have questions. And, yeah, just this is going to be a huge, huge, powerful call because, oh, there you are, Dr. Allison, over in the land, the heart chakra of the planet. Welcome, sister. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Thank you for that intro. You power me right through it. Look at you. You did. I loved your description because I saw us together in circle and that particular stone circle dedicated to the maidens in yeah. Cornwall. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <sighs> Thank that was you. Fun. So fun. I want everyone that's on this call, all like 85 million of you, please, please make it a priority to to get more of this for yourself. That's all I'm saying. Peace out. I'll let you go. I'll let you have the floor. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Hi to you over there. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Allison J.K., Welcome, if this is your first time, your first free monthly call, and welcome back to all of you beautiful folks who've been with me for years doing this free monthly call, no matter if it's 2 a.m. for me as it is now, <laughs> no matter where I am on the planet, no matter what's going on in my life, this is a service to you all, and so I want to help you make good use of well, there's a lot of you just coming on now. I want to help you make good use of the time together and the clearings and activations you're going to receive. So, Liz, can you press star two, Liz, if you're there? I'm going to open up to Wilmington, Connecticut. I don't believe this is you, Liz. I don't... Hello, this is Patty. Liz, is this you? It's Patty. Hi. Liz. Hold on one sec. And then I know the Ottawa, Ontario one is not you, Liz. So, Liz, are you not there? Liz, my airport riding, driving. Liz? Okay. 
She was going to be on tonight's call to talk about a reaction she had to last month's free monthly call and what she was going to help you understand. Excuse me while I sip at my green tea so I can deliver this brilliant sub about to deliver. <laughs> she um, had her... Call, I believe, was the only one ever. There may have been one other one out of 52 a year um, for now 11 years um, where I did not open it up to callers to um, help facilitate whatever your target area is that you would like clearings and activations on. Instead, I ran, it, the collective felt so much in need that I just powered through a bunch of clearings and activations. And she found herself for the next three days coughing. And before she got alert, alarmed, she kind of sensed, because she drives me back and forth on all my airport runs and in, in non-COVID times, those are pretty frequent because I travel a lot. And she listened again and found herself continuing to cough the, the next day after the free monthly call. And then, you know, she went and got herself tested for COVID in case it was that and it wasn't. And she then really knew it was from the clearings and activations that she had received. And she said to me while driving me to the airport, Allison, I remembered you specifically saying on the free monthly call that you had had your hands at your throat and in the back of your neck. And so I know that one of the things I said back to her was when I was teaching my weekly yoga class, and it was a sequence I had designed somewhat in my yoga teacher training in India, because that was one of our assignments of many during the intensive training to come up with a sequence. I came up with one that um, is opposed to go up the chakra column, along with some other stuff I did in that class. And Claire used to come to it weekly, as well as a few of you others on this call. And... By the time we got to the heart chakra, about a third of the room was coughing. By the time we got to the throat chakra, the joke, the long-standing joke became coughing yoga. You know how this laughing yoga, well, this became coughing yoga. Because it seems to me one of my primary focuses is, as Claire um, repeated that subtitle of my second book, Vibration Upgraded Conspiracy for Your Bliss, Easing Humanity's Evolutionary Transition. That's what I'm up to. And it's been a hell of of a time in the last 18 months, obviously. But one of the key areas that I find that is up, and I wrote about this a lot in my second book, the one I just said, um, because around 2016, I was seeing client after client after client need this connection for the first time ever between the heart chakra channel and the throat chakra. And I was surprised by that. And I came to call it the co-creators channel for these new times, for this new paradigm. And we are squarely in it now. The old is crumbled, still crumbling, sure. There's still clearing, massive clearing that's happening for the earth and humanity and the collective. COVID's a part of it. And I, I, I do sense that COVID happened to the extent, it's, extent it has happened because not enough clearing um, has taken place proactively. So humanity required a crisis to induce that clearing. But the aspect of choice, so yeah, sure, the throat chakra is about communication. And one of the things Liz said was, because I said to her, Liz, wasn't that an issue for you in your marriage? And she said, yeah, it was. So speaking up for herself was not easy. And so the first level, what I consider the first level of the throat chakra is all the stuff around communicating. You know, it's not only about you speaking up for yourself. It's also if you've been lied to, if there's deceit in your life, if you perceive you're heard. But then the second level that's more applicable to what I'm saying right now and to this new era is the aspect of choice. So if you feel like you have no choice, look at the throat. Listen to it. <clears throat> I don't ever have to clear my throat. So you guys are getting a, a throat clearing. My throat reacts. And the only time I ever cough is when I am coughing for somebody as I'm clearing them. I, I don't have bronchitis. I don't have a perennial cough. I don't have covid so um, the throat chakra is a real key element for me because I'm helping with this transition from the old paradigm into the new. 
it was completely synchronistic and completely guided by my higher self that I did that show for two and a half years on Voice America about interviewing people about what December 12th, 21st was all about and being in special ceremony with the Mayan shaman, with a group of specialists on December 21st at Chichen Itza in 2012. Because choice is where it's at. And I was just saying this on Magic Manifestation of Money Flow on our group call. And I'm going to be going into clearings around abundance, around celebrating the harvest. Yeah, you know, I'll take that in because I know you're excited. Um, but before I get there, I, I want to help you understand that you're receiving work on this free monthly call that you may not identify. Many of you do, and especially those of you who have come back month after month after month and use this to track yourselves. Um, this call is meant to be of service to folks who may not be able to afford to work with me in a more intimate setting. Um, I mean, the first level of coming in to activate your magic, which is the, I, want, I don't want to call it a beginner program, but it's the first level to access and working with me in a group program. Activate your magic is more about check-ins to uplift you. So for those of you in Activate Your Magic, many of you are here now as well, you have a sense of how to work with these clearings and activations. But many of you don't. And, and so, like, I just had a, a new customer come in this week and buy a product out of the store. And she had listened to it one time and, and said that nothing had changed. And it's naive to consider that listening to clearings and activations one time is going to lead to physical change you can observe in your life. It may. It has. I've had workshops around money, clearing money blocks, and people have had the biggest sales of their lives happen at home on their computer and their home-based business while they're in the workshop. People who haven't been able to sell a house for six months, not in today's times, back in 2011-ish, um, sold their house. I mean, it, it, it does, some stuff does happen instantaneously, but it depends on what you come to me with. It depends on how much work you've already done on yourself. It depends on how receptive you are. It depends on how much karma you have, how much um, conditioning, how much trauma, how many imprints, how, many, how much work you've done already on clearing yourself, as I just said. So some of you may, most of you will feel lighter in the morning when you wake up. That's a typical piece of feedback I get. But when you find yourself tomorrow or Sunday or Tuesday able to consider or see a new option that you hadn't seen before, that's a result of these clearings and activations. So what I'm doing is opening up where you can see new possibilities and remember the subtitle to Reasonable Dragons, my third book, which is on audible.com and all my books are on Amazon, is The Logical Magic is the New Norm to getting in your, where you're connected to the field of unlimited possibilities and logical magic is the new norm. And that field of unlimited possibilities is growing in its power. And those of us on the cutting edge of consciousness can perceive that and we're bringing it in and thank you for who you be on this planet. Thank you for showing up to this call. Thank you for helping humanity by you having the heart you have that desires to be here, to receive these, to anchor in to the earth through your body being a bridge between heaven and earth and your field around you. you clear, the clearings will affect certain chakras because each chakra covers a domain of life. It will help then, therefore, the vortex in front of each chakra that will then form your field so that your field emanates out a higher vibration. So much of my work is the two levels of the four levels of trainings I give are for helping the collective. But overall, my mission, the reason why I'm doing this is to help the collective. And so I thank you for being you, just by you being lighter and more joyous and freer and seeing new possibilities that are lighter and that lighten up your life rather than saying staying stuck in the old and requiring crisis to force you to change or requiring an issue to force you to look for another way. 
you're helping humanity. So the idea of choice, that's all the fifth chakra, the courage to choose something different. And that's why I run so many clearings around choice. And you might not ever hear me say the word choice, but almost everything I'm doing is so that new possibilities can be opened up in your field, can be brought in, and then that becomes more... So let me let me back up just a little bit. When you receive the clearings, some of you may feel nothing at first. And when you buy a product and you listen or you listen to a replay, you hear new clearings. It's a phenomenon that I absolutely love about this work. I've had people throughout the years, so many say to me after listening to like the root chakra over and over again a month in, Dr. Awesome, was that clearing always on there? So as you clear blockages, now, like an onion peeling or rising to the surface, what had been buried is now able to rise to the surface, and now we can clear that. And you can, So that's why you can all of a sudden hear a clearing that you had never heard that's always been there. <laughs> so it's kind of like proof, which is nice, because this is all work in subtle energy, you know, in consciousness. It's not a physical building of a house that I can point to the end result and say, see? So you may feel heat, you may feel tingles, you may feel goosebumps, you may shiver, you may yawn, you may hear your tummy gurgle, um, you may feel a little bit of pain somewhere as I go in and open up a blockage because as the chakra starts to get cleared and open more and more life force or ki of Reiki or chi of qigong or prana from yoga is able to get in and circulate more. So an area of musculature, for example, around your shoulders, the top of your shoulders, your delts, where I'm a personal trainer too, um, (laughs) around the throat chakra getting opened, your delts get hit that have been used to being chronically tight because your throat chakra is closed down. When the life force gets to them, the musculature gets hit with life force and at first there's a little bit of pain. So please don't be operating any heavy equipment. Please don't be having anybody needing to rely on you, any babies or infants, or um, you just want to sit back and receive and make sure that, you know, it would be better for you not to multitask while you receive these clearings and activations. So waking up feeling lighter tomorrow, feeling more positive, feeling more hopeful next week or maybe by Sunday or maybe even Saturday or tomorrow, seeing a new possibility All of that's from this work. If you're coughing, you're going through a clearing. Um, When anybody becomes a client of mine or participates in one of my programs, you get a healing crisis document, and it explains um, that it takes three days to integrate clearings and activations. So, like, you could have lethargicness, possibly, depending on what needs to be cleared in you from listening to these group clearings and activations and what somebody who raises their hand and I get guided. Remember, it's star two to raise your hand and get personal work done on you. What they bring up that I see serves the collective on the call, you may um, have like a thick clearing. So you may be clearing out density. So tomorrow might be a little bit heavier. I know some of you have experienced that before and then Saturday get, gets lighter and then by Sunday you're, you're pretty clear because it's now cleared out. I don't tend to go that intensive on these calls. Um, Just because you're all new to me, you're not, and I'm not working with you, so I need to remain in integrity and not rip you wide open when I'm not going to get to you tomorrow, like if you're in magic manifestation of money flow or a client. So um, I believe that I want to say something to you all before I move on and and let Stephanie talk to you about a breakthrough she's had around money before we go into the abundance clearing. So if Activate Your Magic is the, I'm going to say, least expensive way, it's under $100 to step into receiving these clearings and activations. If Activate Your Magic is considered check-ins to uplift you, then my signature program that's three months, Magic Manifestation Money Flow, is a momentum 
that gets developed to transform you. Claire told you I have that specialty certification through my personal trainer uh, certification as a behavioral change specialist. I, 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 was, I sat back, y'all, Tuesday night. Now, this is with my masterminders. So my masterminders, when I say my masterminders, I apologize if that offends anybody. Um, but I'm so dedicated to them, I think that's why I do it. <laughs> they come out of magic manifestation and money flow. My magic manifestation of money flow out of like the hundreds of people that have gone through there, there has only been one that has not ever had their life changed. Um, and later on, she admitted that she was just being stubborn and it was an ego mind fighting the change. So I sat back on Tuesday night on our mastermind call before some of the half of them are coming here traveling in person and then I'm delivering like hybrid retreats for the first time ever where some chose not to travel. I gave them all choice, um, and some are choosing to travel. So this is our last call before the retreats start on Monday with levels one and two, first week. So some of the people on the Tuesday night call were relatively new and are fresh out of magic manifestation and money flow. And I just sat back in awe with a little bit of a sense of tearing in my eyes, and I don't cry easily, I was almost, I don't want to say overwhelmed because that's not accurate, but I, 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 I sat back in my chair and just sat there listening to them, person after person after person, telling me their successes and that these successes are what they came in to work with me to get to, to create in their lives. And it was just so humbling I mean, I continue to do what I do because it works. Otherwise, I'd be doing something different, <laughs> just basic logic, you know. Um, so, I mean, I know that. And, that's, and, and, and part of the confidence I have in my work is, is you know, helpful because um, I kind of loan, put on loan my connection, my direct connection to source while you work with me, particularly in magic manifestation and money flow and then more so in the mastermind. But it still was overwhelming to a, in a way because these beautiful beings have these beautiful hearts and they just had these desires to do better and live lighter and serve more. And we had just even from the three months in magic manifestation and money flow and a few months in mastermind, I'm not even talking about the ones who've been working with me for a couple of years. They were just all reporting like the life that they have been expressing to me that they want and as it's unraveled as we've worked together more and more as they've brought online more their own guidance and we've seen organically what comes in worked with it in an organic way when I say what comes in I mean the possibilities because part of what we do in the first six weeks of magic manifestation and money flow is these in the modules are these brilliant videos I'm doing where I'm open I'm not saying I'm brilliant but the I just am flabbergasted by the functionality of magic manifestation and money flow. I really am. And please don't turn off because this isn't marketing. This is me talking genuinely from my heart and letting myself do it. The AIM event, the live Zoom event with the Activate Your Magic folks um, on the Equinox before the Equinox, before I left because I was flying on the Equinox and landing here in London. Um, When I mentioned a special offer, because now if you have been wondering about magic manifestation and money flow, it's a really smart thing to do to come in now. While I'm in the heart chakra of the planet and I am giving these attunements during these retreats, every attunement I give is equal to eight sessions and I receive as I give. So next week, I haven't calculated it yet, but it's going to be around at least 84 sessions of equivalent of 84. Do you know the amount of light? And I'm in the heart chakra of the planet and we're going out to the sacred sites on the land. It's phenomenal what ends up in the field and magic manifestation and money flow because it's like, and I've seen it every time I've done these retreats here live. It's beautiful, the, the runoff effect from my field to the field in magic manifestation and money flow and the folks that are in the program during that time. So I was offering a special to the folks that activate your magic on the live Zoom event a 
couple of weeks back. I don't even know when it was at this point. Um, it was just last week I landed here. So the Equinox was just last week, wasn't it? Wow. Isn't time funny now? So um, I would say seven to nine of them all piped in who had been through magic manifestation and money flow and want to stay with receiving the work because of the the beauty of it, um, the connection. They were like, yeah, go for it. It's amazing. It's, it's I don't know if to use the word amazing, but they were all just piping in about how great it is. And so between these two things, I just have sat back really with a new awareness of just how blessed I am to have this connection. I mean, you, many of you may have heard podcast interviews where I say, you know, I was grow, I grew up tromping through the forest with my older brother after school and then started writing in a journal in my uh, teens and just always cultivated this connection I've always felt. But it's like I put on loan my vibrations that are connected to success, that are connected to abundance, and that in those first six weeks of modules, particularly in, act, in Magic Manifestation and Money Flow, my signature program that's the bigger robust program are all about opening up your field so that not only are we shifting your consciousness so that you can see new possibilities, but we're also opening up the field around you to bring in the new possibilities. And then I am with you, tracking with you day after day after day in the private Facebook group. And then I'm on live calls with you while you're working with the chakra series. And I'm giving prescriptions by the time you're in your second month of what ones to use, depending on what you're asking for help. So I'm totally invested in the people that I'm working with. And that shows up, I guess, in the results, not just my connection. It's just brilliant. And, and, I, and it's my joy to serve and it's my joy to share these blessings and I just wish, like, my, I hear the difference in my tone. Again, it sounds like I'm being perceived in a way that's causing my tone to shift. I'm not marketing. I'm explaining what my experience is as me. So I'm talking about me. And what I do is this work day in and day out helping humanity have an easier time through this transition. <laughs> so, let's hear from Stephanie so you guys can see what else is possible. Because I'll tell you what, when I first came back from Asia, I went through the worst culture shock than I ever had going to any... I mean, I, Asia wasn't the first international place. I've lived in Italy... I've lived in Istanbul, I've lived in England, I've lived in um, Greece, I've lived in Venezuela. So um, I don't mean just travel, I mean lived there. Um, but when I came back, so I had never had such bad culture shock as when I came back. It's considered reverse culture shock. And I remember when I was in like my first year expecting to do workshops on spiritual awakening and the yogic path and uh, holistic health and wellness and people placed in front of me couldn't receive, even though they came to the workshops with those kinds of titles, they couldn't receive what I was doing because they were so bloody worried about money because the market had just crashed from the housing market. So I became unexpectedly, ridiculously proficient at money clearings. And I want to share with you, as I do, as I came to learn, um, that's also part of my mission, is to bring in, thread in, uh, the abundance for all vibration. And it's happening. I had a meeting on Zoom this week with my financial advisor, and he is so fun, and he loves to learn, and he reads everything he can get his hands on to stay really connected and up-to-date on what's going on in the economy. And he said to me, 
as he was reporting to me what's been going on in the economy and what he sees before he tell me my individual report. He said to me, he thinks that we're going to finish 2021 with the best economy ever, that there's certain markers on Wall Street. I'm not going to go into the specifics, but there's certain markers on Wall Street. We had a really great year that had these kinds of ups. In, nine, in the 1950s, I think he said 1953, and then in the 1970s. And we have, we're about to surpass that, and we're not even done with the year yet. The other thing he told me that I want to give to you all is that he said there are now more wealthy people, according to their assets, with a higher level of wealth than ever before. And he gave me the number. And so I said to him, hold on a second. Doesn't that mean that there's a bigger distribution of wealth now? And he stumbled for a minute because that wasn't where he was coming from at all. And then, you know, he realized, remembered who he was talking to um, and what I do for a living. And he said, yeah. Happily, he said, yeah. So I share that with you all because you may not be tuned into that. <laughs> but what I see happening here on the cutting edge of consciousness, this being I am, who stands under the stars night after night after night, receiving downloads, asking how I can best serve humanity during these times, asking for downloads that sometimes take a couple of days, and one of them took like a month back in around 2013 for me to integrate, to bring to my conscious mind and understand that it was so big. And that was the one I heard Jesus is coming off the cross, is now come off the cross. So it's now about like the resurrection and, and the joy of the resurrection. As we turn the corner, entering the new golden era, part of the new golden era is abundance for all. And I have been saying that since 2010. However, you may use money to stop you. Some people use time. Some people use, well, if I only had a soulmate, then I'd be happy. Well, once my chronic back pain goes, then I'll be fill in the blank. While I see many people do that with money, there is so much money out there. I'm going to say it again. There is so much money out there. Is it possible that you're not choosing it? Is it possible that you're in fact rejecting it? Is it more possible in fact that you're rejecting yourself? Having a lighter, happier, more fulfilled life by using money as the excuse to stop you. So I want to bring on Stephanie. Here, I believe that this is you. Hello? Yes, hi. Take it away, hey. girl. Well, I <laughs> am for sure one of those people who... I had everything going for me, the relationships, the friends, the spiritual connection, the family, the, the, the one thing was the money. And I signed up with Allison in March for the Manic, Magic Manifestation and Money Flow. I believe I heard this free call and connected on such a deep level and just knew she was the one to take me to the next level. I had my drawbridge call the next day and it was easy to say yes because I just had my stimulus check and my tax money was coming. So that was a no-brainer. And that was just amazing. Her love, her care, her generosity, and just the the clearings and everything in that program 
And then my three months in that was ending, and she gave me the invitation to join the Vibrational Upgrade Mastermind. My whole being was saying yes. The thing was, the money was not physically in the bank account, though I did have $2,000, a little bit over that, in stocks. Though, working with Allison had helped me at that point to know that I get to create my reality. I Hell yeah. I just knew that I would be able to come up with the other payments. So I followed my heart and my yes. I got the money out of the stocks and into the mastermind program. And it's been a tad rocky with the finances up until, I have to say, the beginning of this month, I struck gold. Um, Those unconscious beliefs that had been holding me back through doing the clearings and having the faith and being open to something different, even though I didn't know what it was, through different events and things that were showing up, I'm like, what is going on? I had beliefs related to expectations of being unseen, unheard, misunderstood, seen as incompetent, um, related to giving away of my power, not speaking up for myself, being defensive and constrictive, and a belief that in order for me to be in my power, I must be seen, heard, understood by others, and a belief that in order to have money, I must work at a job that includes personal sacrifice and strife. And then that led me to another belief, that money and joy don't go together, money and ease don't go together, money and fun don't go together. And I'm like, wow, no wonder. And the, <laughs> No wonder. Yeah. And the the question that came to me, access consciousness, just to open and expand the space, what energy, space, and consciousness can me and my body be to be doing work in exchange for money that feels light, that I look forward to and enjoy, where I feel resonance with who I'm working for and with, where I love the work schedule and flexibility, where I'm a blessing to others and raising the vibration of love and where I will receive ample money to play, pay, invest, save, and give away. Now, the end of last month, my boyfriend had hip surgery, and he needed me to basically be there with him full time. And he really liked having me around, and I was talking about different jobs and things I was looking for, and I found a job that really lit me up, which hasn't happened in a while. And I told him, I think I've had my dream job. And he's like, working for me, right? And he (laughs) um, is now paying all of my bills. (laughs) Yeah. Just to to be with him and, and help him get organized he's seeing me in a different way in my light and appreciating me in a whole different way and it's just amazing (laughs) and oh my goodness and through Allison's guidance and and just brilliance and just showering me with her vibrations and her knowing and my willingness 
to be curious and open and be like, I don't know what this looks like. This is what I'm going for. This is what makes my heart sing. I believe the combination of all of that made this possible. And I'm just so grateful. And, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes to that. (laughs) And how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? (laughs) Absolutely. And I love something that um, Allison just said in um, the magic manifestation and money flow that is so true. No, the success is inevitable. This is not hoping for it. We really do get to choose. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that in, Stephanie. Yeah, that was so powerful to me. Good job receiving that. Yeah, you did a good job receiving that. I love that you just quoted that. Thank you. It's true. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My pleasure and my honor. I'm just, you can hear my smile most likely, yeah? You saw my smile the other night. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, we did a little mud wrestle in there uh, last month and the month before. Oh, yeah. Funny belief. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. Mm. All right. So I'm thanking you, and I'm going to um, go ahead and um, move into taking callers. What, how do you feel about that? Is that good? Absolutely. All right. Lovely. Here we go. <laughs> In more ways <laughs> than one. <laughs> So I do want to say just one one more thing. Um, I know that, so it's start two, yep. I see some of you starting to raise your hands as I get, as I get ready to tra- transform into that. Star two is what you're pressing to raise your hand so I can call on you. And I will tune in to see who will be the biggest contribution before I call on you for the clearings and activations you'll pull out of me for everyone on the call. And I'll turn them into... Uh, clearing for everybody, for those of you who are new. And those of you who are a little bit weary of a group program, I was a classroom teacher and administrator for 12 years. It's individualized service. It's not a group program. So just wipe that excuse off your plate. (laughs) If you've been hearing your head say that, because it's just, um, it's fun. And I'm sure you can hear that. So, Let's do the money clearing before I call on everybody. You guys up for it? Oh, I'm having such a hard time. So many yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to say yes. Are you willing to burn it all up with the flames of transmutation? And you guys are going to want to say yes out loud because it invites the energy in um, more physicalized to you. So you do hear a little bit of access consciousness. Um, I was a trained VARS facilitator, and I had Dane on my radio show a couple of times, and Gary and Simone, and actually one of the modules, um, they all have videos in Magic Manifestation of Money Flow, and then one of them has, um, they all have recordings from specific radio shows that enhance the concepts that are, are being delivered in each module. And one of them is with Lisa Benston from um, Access Consciousness that so many people, and I think it's Module 8, report that just completely permanently shifted them about their attitude with money in business. And so um, I remember saying to Dane here, you know, Dane, stop knocking meditation because you're actually working with an applied mindfulness technique, what you're doing with Access Consciousness questions. So I appreciate so much what they, what Gary Douglas has opened up with Access Consciousness, but I'm not with them. I'm not affiliated with them anymore. It's not like there was a breakup at all. It's just we visited together and as I came back from Asia, and I was appreciating what they were doing at the time. Still am. So what energy, space, and consciousness can you and your body be so that you 
welcome money in abundance and prosperity instead of rejecting it and deflecting it. Anything and everything that doesn't allow for that, are you willing to burn up with the flames of transmutation? Yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to be silent for a moment. So any and all karma, as appropriate, including but not limited to financial karma, burning all of that up, any and all free-floating thoughts and traumas that have in any way been responsible for creating or perpetuating you rejecting money, you deflecting money, you rejecting abundance and prosperity, burning all of those traumas up and then their ensuing free-floating thoughts. All the imprints from your parents in lineage, all conditioning, including this not enough, lack. It's not enough for everybody to have abundance. And all contracts, oaths, vows across all timelines and lifetimes you've ever taken or made, including but not limited to vows of poverty, vows of austerity, vows of chastity. Perhaps in a religious order in another lifetime. And at all levels of consciousness, all beliefs, judgments, expectations, how you are with money, of how money is with you, and then all projections. Burning this all up now with the flames of transmutation. hearing undeservingness, low self-worth, not good enough, I'll have to work too hard, money doesn't motivate me, I won't be considered spiritual or close to God if I have money or too much money, I can't afford that. We can't afford that. We don't have the money for that. This includes, I hear again, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. People like us don't have that kind of money. 
People like us don't live that kind of way. Not enough. Lack, competition. Don't want to fight. Don't want to be part of the problem. Abundance and prosperity means greed. You might want to do what I'm doing, inhaling and exhaling. Allow more of the energy to move through you. Good. Some of you just popped. I want to stand up and lift your legs up, bending at each knee. Some of you may want to tap your coccyx or tailbone. Some of you may feel drawn to rub your upper belly. Some of you may feel drawn to rub the back of your neck. So you allow this energy to go through more. In order to have prosperity, I have to work hard and I don't want to, is clearing. I can't. It's too hard. A lot of excuses. Just sit there and let it pour out of you. Let it clear out of you as it pours out of you, off of you, in a way, out of your field. Activating the upgrade now. So all that was just said is all aligning now with your divine blueprint and activating any and all latent keys and codes within you, inherent talent, ancient wisdom, and any and all blessings. And support possible to bring this all into alignment for your highest potential and your highest possibilities to become physically actualized. Activating the upgrade now. In this energy, you may want to visualize yourself, what you'd look like, feel like, be wearing, who you'd be with, with prosperity and abundance at higher levels and abundance for all happening. So some of you who are really perceptive and tuned into the more subtle energies, especially those of you who've worked with me already and you're on the call, you may have felt the difference. I know that as soon as I went into clearings on the Magic Manifestation Money Flow call right before this, my ears started to have a really peaked um, silence, which is what I've come to know is like soul force because I am in the heart chakra of the planet and I haven't even started delivering the attunements yet. And I have gone to just a few sacred spots at this point. These are always more powerful from here. Which is why, again, I was suggesting now is the time for you to come in to 3M. And how you do that is when you get the replay, sign up for an open the drawbridge call. I know that one thing that I hear a lot from my masterminders is Dr. Allison, I was working with the Law of Attraction before you. 
and you showed me the how to actually live it. Because there's a lot of reconfiguration of your fields that I get to do <laughs> in Magic Manifestation Money Flow. And we just started a little bit of reconfiguration. So please feel free to write in to support at allisonjk.com. We'll put it in the free Facebook group, anything that you see. It's always great to hear. I love hearing from you guys. What new thought came in? What new possibility came in? What tangible came in? So I'm going to go ahead and tune in. Again, it's star two. Wow, there's a lot of you. Wow, you are screaming. Lisa from Connecticut. Are you there? Yes, how do I do it? You're doing it. <laughs> Welcome. Oh How my How may gosh, I serve thanks. you, my dear? Um, well, I Welcome. was an art, te- art teacher for 23 years and um, mm. stopped teaching a couple years ago and have been painting. And just um, over the summer, mm. start, started selling some work. And um, But I've been painting over the summer. Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you, but, you know, just happy about it but not more than I'd want I mean wanting you know, more yeah want, wanting more and I feel like I um, uh, I feel like um, I'm not sure how to do the next step because I am on Instagram and I see people you know posting four times a day and having success in different ways are things and it's also a confusion of do I need to st- sell for validation like I have a friend who's always saying that and it's just very confusing to me about how to uh, move forward with this venture am I still there okay yeah, I'm tuning in. I'm so sorry, Lisa. <laughs> oh, that's okay. And I'm moving. I'm I'm moving into um, a bathroom, so my son and husband start chatting. Won't interfere. Okay. Thank you for that. For doing that. So, I just want to get beyond my mind. It's what is it? 3 a.m. now for me, and I want to get to my intuition. Make sure that I respond to you from there. Because there's a lot I could say. So the first thing that comes in is the contraction around your chest. Um, And it's not, it's around receiving. Um, There seems to be a fear of really putting yourself out there. There's a lot of... um, beliefs it seems like around if you around being seen and the and, and, and increasing the volume of being seen wanting to be a, a, a bit more private so you're kind of that's what's causing the confusion in a way does that make any sense so far um a, a little bit there has been um i used to be extremely extroverted And, you know, being an art teacher, I was, like, always on, right? Like, teaching for so long, um, you always had to be on. And then, and I I enjoyed all that, but then this pandemic of um, isolating and making some choices that I truly believe are best for me and then being shunned by that, like, uh, seen as a social That's the contraction. Yeah, yeah it's right there. Traction. And on top of that, um, deep held beliefs from my childhood of just, uh, kind of being not, uh, not kind of being, but not feeling worthy. Yeah. So then the not feeling worthy is, uh, um, I don't, I don't want to be seen because what happens if they see me? Right. And, and, and like, it, and it's weird because I've I've moved uh, 
I've downsized twice within like four years. And so I've really um, gotten rid of a lot of physical belongings and really love a okay, clutter free thing. <laughs> love a clutter free life. Very like what's essential. But when yeah. I create, it's kind of a discord because I'm creating more and bringing more, and I don't want paintings. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't want paintings around the house. But then it's like I don't want to necessarily just give them away because I know it can be some money coming in. And by the way, okay. it just popped in my head. My father, yeah. when I was in fourth grade, my father lost everything. His bed went into business with his childhood best friend who swindled him. There it is. And then, so, and, the, and then the same, it kind of another recurrence of him losing everything by him being um, set up by someone else. Um, and being accused of something that didn't happen. And so a lot of stuff around two different types of business that completely fell apart and actually drained their savings, I mean, you know, drained all their monetary stuff. There's a lot there, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and so let's let's go step by step. And, and frankly, what you're asking for is exactly what I do in Magic Manifestation and Money Flow. I've worked with quite a few artists. One of my favorite things to do, actually, is to help teachers, nurses, and social workers get out of that field. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. love when I do that. Um, I, I recognize that you've already left the field. But why I'm saying that is because there's quite a few artists who I've worked with who – I have one in particular in mind right now. I have one of her paintings in my house at home. And she, from working with me, started to show in a gallery and has regular income coming in from it and was not having that before, which makes me exhale on her behalf because she's so talented. So let me just first frame it this way. What if it's not about you? It's totally about you. But let's just play with this for a moment. What if it's not about you? What if it's about your heart, your commitment to some of the ideals you just expressed, like minimalism and, and not wanting excess, and the fact that you'd be attracted to a call such as vibrational upgrade? It says a lot about you. And so what if your art is communicating something that is needed by someone? It's kind of like what I was saying at the beginning of the call when I was talking about, um, actually, I was saying this at the beginning of this, the Magic Manifestation Money Flow Car earlier, but what I was talking about when people stop themselves because of money, like they won't invest in themselves in the transformation because they think that they need to save and hold on to the money instead of investing in themselves, which always ends up much more in the end, like a flowering and a blossoming. So it's like what's happening with you, it's, it's almost like there's a discord where you know you have something to serve people with and you're stopping yourself from being able to get that out there. And I hear a lot of different, you're recognizing, you're mindful enough to recognize these stopping points your mind has and you'd like them cleared, obviously. I feel like I want to go back before we go into a clearing for you about the confusion you're talking about <clears throat> with what to do. So the way that I know how to do this is tuning into someone's system and having it come in organically instead of a formula. Like I must post on Instagram four days four times a day instead right. tuning in to what you desire what works for you, what time of day works for you, how many posts a day work for you, what will make your heart sing and keep you light, no matter what anybody else is doing. Because it's the energy that communicates. It's not about formulas. Like people can be told Mondays are the best day to send emails. Don't ever send an email on a Sunday. I find that you all open your emails more on Sundays um, than on Mondays, frankly. So, I mean, it, it, there's these proclamations that are made in the business world about the way you're supposed to do things. And let's just 
throw that all out in the garbage now as you start to really ask, Allison, I'd like to get this up and running as a business, um, but I don't know how to step forward. The next step is to listen to yourself and what makes your heart sing and observe yourself. If you're posting two times a day, observe if you're heavy or light around that. Um, And then if you're light about it, continue to do it. If you're heavy about it, stop. Try one time a day. Try three times a day. So just make choices as you move forward that, as best you can, help keep you on a lighter vibration, your heart lighter, so that people will notice you more because the energy is what's going to get you noticed, not necessarily posting at a certain time or a certain volume. It's all about energy nowadays. Does that make sense so far? Yes, I get a little bit stuck because um, prior to, uh, or in the summer when I sold five pieces, it happened just very easily and naturally without yep. any, and yep. without any social media, and so yep. um, I turned to social media and I actually am on prior was on very little like just kind of for town news or family photos, but. I've kind of forced myself to become more of a presence, and it's like it's not me just because I know how unhealthy social media can be. And so, right, so hold on a second, Lisa. Hold on, hold on a second. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I mean, I'm out there. I'm I'm out there and with my on social media, and if, and I tend to be a private person, um, so I understand what you're saying. But when you said, I know how harmful social media can be, look at, we connected over social media. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, yeah, ab- absolutely. I, I guess, you know, I'm coming out, yeah, absolutely, I agree. I, I, I know a lot of people who are, who are, um, who struggle with their look, self-reflection, looking at their lives and comparing. That, that's what I was referring to. But, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yep. I understand. You walk into the Facebook matrix and you wonder why you're not getting as many likes as that person else. Um, so it just has that in the field. Just know that social media has that in the field and you step into the field anyway and you can be aware of it and just ask it to leave. Well, who does this belong to? This isn't mine. Um, mm-hmm. And manage that down because it is a tool for business and especially a visual such as Instagram for art. I mean, it's a great fit. That's logic. That's not intuition. Um, let me go into seeing what Claren would help you and everybody else on the call and those who will be listening to the replay best. This fear, there's just a ton of fear. Um, and I understand that you're presenting me with what your blocks are. Does it feel like I need to do right now the work about around your, what your dad went through and that trauma there right now? I want to help you with how does it feel when I say confidence? Um, I I look at other successful stuff and I I know art's very subjective and I can look at mm-hmm. other people having success and realize especially having taught for so long like the the competence yeah, level is very can be very someone can have very high success with low competence because of their business savvy and yep. and so I've been um you know just kind of going with what's coming uh for enjoyment wise painting for me and not trying to force a formula and um but more just I, I do abstract work either seascapes or really non representational and just kind of exploring and having fun with it and and time stops when I paint but the um I'm sorry, I veered away from when you oh you said confidence oh so then it becomes like when you see the, that um, that there's it's beyond what's good and I've heard you know you're selling the person 
you're selling the artist as much as you are your artwork and it's and there is something about validation that was you know I was overlooked basically my entire life you know of for so many reasons and so it's, so then there would be confidence there um, yeah and the I think of- so I think that that and I know but yet it's like I lack the I have the competence, I lack the confidence, but yet I have, you know, someone I, there's one person I really trust in, in regards to Lisa, their let art. me stop you. Yeah. Lisa, let me stop you just because I need to manage the time of the call. Of course, yes. Thank you. I did not say competence. I said confidence. You know that, right? No. No. I, I thought didn't. not. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I said confidence. Yeah, okay. I would assume I that you, you have confidence. confidence. Yes. I can feel the confidence, and I would assume, logically, after being an art teacher for that many years, you have confidence. No, it's confidence that I brought up. So you just brought it up with the validation. So I want to go ahead and do a clearing because everybody on this call and who's going to listen to the replay could benefit from increased confidence. Yeah? Yeah. And I'll bring in, I'll bring in the being overlooked and the validation as a part of it as I go through the clearing. How's that sound? Perfect. I apologize for delaying it with my mishearing. No, no worries. Okay, so let me do that. Inhale, exhale thing. Oh, you're so tight, Lisa. Let's take a breath together. Inhaling through the nostrils. And exhale through the nostrils. Good, good. Okay. So this is for you, my dear Lisa. Are you up in Connecticut still? Yes. Okay. And for all of you listening, both now live and on the replay, what would it take for you to have so much confidence in yourself and in whatever it is you're offering, if appropriate? that you surprised yourself. Anything and everything that doesn't allow for that, are you willing to burn up with the flames of transmutation? Yes. 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 Okay. Can we silent for a moment? There's a lot of purification that wants to happen with this one. Excellent. Thank you, Lisa. This is a real contribution for everybody. So any and all free-floating thoughts and traumas that have any way created or perpetuate you having low levels of confidence. Burning all of those up. Including but not limited to where you felt overlooked. Not seen, not heard not understood. And so it's made you have an edge with requiring validation that's decreased your confidence. We're burning all of that up. All of the imprints from your parents that may have in any way diminished your levels of confidence and your lineage and all conditioning from the trance of the masses including but not limited to the social media comparisons that result in lowering one's confidence that sense of competition and how great somebody else is because that's what they're meant to show on social media 
in the ensuing comparison and where your confidence goes down, burning all of that comparison, competition, and diminishment of confidence up now with the flames of transmutation, please. All karma as appropriate. All contracts, oaths, vows across all lifetimes and timelines, including vows to not be seen when in some kind of monastery setting. And at all levels of consciousness, all the beliefs, judgments, evaluations you've made, expectations you have, projections you then do, from or that perpetuate or any diminishment of the highest levels of confidence that end up surprising even you. I'm going to burn it all up right now. So I, I just heard popping in again the contradiction of, of needing validation and, and being afraid of being seen out of a couple of different reasons, not being familiar with being seen, what happens if they see you and they don't like your artwork or they don't approve of you or don't validate you, fear of rejection rejections that have happened in the past, being overlooked, not being seen, feeling like you're in a pool of millions and nobody's noticing you, feeling all alone. Burning it all up from all of you, for all of you. Those weren't just yours, Lisa, that I just named. Most of them were. Some came in from others. I'm hearing confidence. It's clearing up the blocks to having confidence to take steps on behalf of building your new life. Confidence to take the next step, just one step. So burning up the blocks to the tentativeness that tentativeness where you hold yourself back from taking just one step, burning up anything and everything that doesn't allow for the increased confidence that you do take that next one step, burning up lethargicness, lack of motivation around not having taken that step. I'm also hearing um, not comfortable taking risks, not confident to take risks. And that is related to, for you, Lisa, your dad's experience. It's like echoing in the back of your head. So we're bringing that up and out so it can just fly off your field. Out of your consciousness. His experience is his. You're not him. You're living in a new time. Fear of rejection. It's coming again. Afraid, fear of meanness. when you've had a trauma around people being mean to you, so that's decreased the confidence. I'm hearing that. I'm not sure it's yours, Lisa. I'm 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and activate the upgrade now. So all that was just named is all coming into alignment with your highest divine blueprint for the highest levels of confidence that surprise even you. As we activate the upgrade now, so I need all latent keys and codes within you and ancient wisdom within you and latent talents. And any old blessings and support possible to bring this all into alignment for your highest potential and your highest possibilities to become physically actualized. Activating the upgrade now. How you doing, Lisa? I muted you. Hold on a sec. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I felt lighter. I've had some tightness in my lower left back that felt loosened and, um, I felt, I felt really, um, I had my palms up and I felt some definite, some energy coming in, lots Excellent. of stomach, gurg- stomach gurgling and um, yawning. Excellent. Yawning is when you're elevating into a higher consciousness and gurgling of stomach is around the solar plexus, which is the chakra that is central to self-worth and confidence perfect responses and you heard me telepathically ask you I didn't say it out loud but I was like Lisa can you get your hands palms face up I don't know what you're using if it's a phone or a laptop or a tablet but can you get your hands face up please palms face up (laughs) (laughs) well thanks for sending the message all right lovely so I'm going to go ahead and call on the next person thank you for that contribution it was really good for everybody Thank you, thank you, and thank you, everyone, for listening. Oh, it's my honor. All right, lovely, so let's see. We're going over here. Well, I tune in. Thank you for your patience. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, area code 267. You have your hand raised, Philadelphia, PA. Philly person, are you there? Line's open for you to speak. Hello? Yeah, you. You. Hello? Hello. Would you like something? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I guess. Um, clearing from my past trauma. What's your name? Lisa. You're another Lisa, are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you want a clearing for past trauma. Yeah. And that's all you want to say about it? Yeah? Uh, that's all you need to say? It's okay? Yeah. Um, okay. My dad was alcoholic, and um, so we were... Just um, the dysfunction from that. Okay. And I feel like, you know, I'm not um, being the adult that I could be living in fear. Oh, man, fear just keeps coming up tonight. So why don't we do a clearing around traumas? Because that is the effect of trauma. When you hear me say free-floating thoughts and traumas, and I just explained this in the last uh, Activate Your Magic Zoom event, the traumas, as they come in, our ego mind can't feel them. So they go to the subconscious, 
But then what happens ensuingly is that we end up with unconscious conclusions around what we need to do to protect ourselves from that happening again. So those are the free-floating thoughts. And so a hell of a lot of the result of trauma is fear. Mm-hmm. And it's... Um, what? I agree. Lisa? Yes, I agree. Yeah, okay. So it can be like a generalized, un- non-specific fear. I call There's another kind of fear that I talk about called runaway fear. This is kind of like that. So why don't we go ahead? Yeah? Do you notice that in yeah. your life? Just kind of like a... Okay. So let's get you... I love what you said, Lisa, in particular about the... I don't feel like I'm the adult that I could be. Were those your exact words? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's all that I'm about is living up to our potential. And there's so Mm -hmm. much of it coming on board right now in this new era. The field is so alive and so full of new possibilities. We're just on the cutting edge of consciousness here with connecting you all to that field so you can help bring in the new paradigm. So let's get you more freed up. Thank you, Lisa. This is a real. I understand why I called on you. It's going to be really helpful for everybody. Okay, so here we go, everybody. We're going to clear out traumas that have happened. I'm wanting to specify them to, to, to when growing up, but I won't I'll include that. But that don't allow you to be the adult that you want to be. So let me frame this. So. What would it take for you to allow yourself in this release time? Because we're in the season of the goddess Keridwin, the Celtic goddess Keridwin, as we are in the Samhain season leading into Halloween or All Hallows' Eve. And the flower essence on the Celtic wheel of the year here at the Chalice Well in Glastonbury for this time of year is released. Whereas we just came out of the autumn equinox time, and that's, that essence was for harvest. Hence the harvest and abundance clearing at the start of the call. So, what would it take for you all, Lisa and all of you, both listening live now as well as when you listen to, and those of you only listening to the replay, to allow yourself to release as much of the trauma that you have been holding as possible so that you can be the adult that you could be living up to more of your potential. Anything and everything that doesn't allow for that, are you willing to burn up with the flames of transmutation? Yes. 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 Yes, Yes, please. A lot of forgiveness wants to be a part of this. And karma, karmic release. Great. So any and all karma as appropriate, bringing all of that karma up that's caused those traumas, that perpetuates the fear resulting from those traumas, that's in any way blocking you from being the adult you could be living up to as much of your potential as possible, bring all of that karma up. Wow, that's quite substantial. So trauma is within the family of origin, family of birth that you grow up with, do tend to be karmic. So 
So then let's go right into any and all contracts, oaths, vows, across all lifetimes and timelines that you ever taken or sworn to that have in any way created or are responsible for perpetuating any of these traumas and their free-floating thoughts. Burning all of those up across all timelines and lifetimes up to the present moment now. And even in the future, free to be the adult you can be, living up to your fullest potential possible. And all of the free-floating thoughts and traumas themselves. Lisa, why don't you take an inhale and exhale? You're holding which trauma causes. Okay, I'm going to ask you, can you rub your lower belly, Lisa? Or your lower back? You choose. Are you able to do that? Oops. I muted you. I muted everybody. And I am suggesting that for everybody. So, Lisa, were you able to do that? Yes. Okay, so now I want you to just take your fists, gentle fists, and I want you to just allow yourself to tap your hips. Just let your fists bounce off your hips. And all of you can do that. I'm focusing on the area of the body that's holding. Allow the energy to move more through. Let's go into all imprints from your parents that have in any way caused you to hold on to the fear from the traumas or that the imprints from your lineage, too, that's in any way caused your parents to help you have fear from the traumas that cause you to restrict yourself, contract back against being the adult you could be and living up to your potential. Burning all of those imprints up, please, in the family line. Uh, it's a lot of relief. Sounds like I'm seeing a shower at your back, Lisa. And for others, all conditioning. That this is the way life's supposed to be, heavy, full of struggle, full of suffering, fear. This is the way we're supposed to live. It's our natural state, not love. Worry, anxiety. And then all of the, at all levels of consciousness, the beliefs, the judgments, the evaluations that you've ended up with that have kept you staying small to protect yourself from those traumas and the expectations of yourself and of life and the projections out onto life about how it's going to treat you based on those traumas and the ensuing fears and free-floating thoughts. Bring it all up now with the flames of transmutation. Any part of the traumas and the free-floating thoughts and everything named and not named, please, that's in any way limiting your capacity to step into becoming the adult that you can be living up to your fullest potential. Lisa, you're probably going to end up crying at some point maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning. Already did. <laughs> Excellent. Good release, my dear. Well done. Good receiving. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you're going soft and gooey in the heart now. This is great. Great receiving.
You might, can you tilt your head to the side and then down to the front and then down to the other side and then to the back? The syringe that wants to get through your neck. Some of you may feel called to do that too. You felt trapped like you can't really make any new choices. Mm-hmm. Is that accurate? Yeah, like not uh, not not knowing which direction to go. Yeah. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about choice in the throat chakra. So I just asked you to do it, that with your head. Your throat is, chakra is getting opened a bit more, which is great. So then burning up as well any ensuing confusion or fear of moving forward, fear of making the wrong move, fear of risking getting hurt again. Yeah. Yeah. Bring all of that up, please. I'm hearing you, Zellner. <laughs> Some of you may want to shake out your legs as then as you're going through the root. A lot of good opening down on the base and the sacral chakras. Some of you may find yourself taking a really big dump tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. That wants to run a little bit more. I can't yet close this into the activation. Will you roll your shoulders back and then roll them forward? This opening in the back of your heart chakra, you're releasing. Good, because we opened up with forgiveness as needed, so this is going to help. Some of that's happening. Your heart chakra is opening more. That's excellent. The back is the history, too. The front today of the chakra column. You are really ready for this, aren't you, Lisa? Yes. Ready for something different. Good girl. Something just shifted in you. Did you feel it? Yeah. What did you feel? I just a release. I'm like ready to move, move to the next step. Yeah, something just clicked, shifted and clicked. Excellent. All right, activating the upgrade now. <clears throat> so all that was just named and not named, but around this energetic is being aligned with your highest divine blueprint while we activate the upgrade now so that any and all latent keys and codes within you an ancient wisdom an inherent talent and any and all blessings and support possible to bring this all into alignment for your highest potential and your highest possibilities to become physically actualized. Activating the upgrade now. I feel like you just got a shower of light and cleanse, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Angels are with me. Thank you. Yeah, they are. You're welcome. 
It's my honor. Enjoy. Lisa, be careful, all of you, please, especially those of you who have a lot of trauma in your past with how frequently you listen to that clearing. <clears throat> trauma needs more time to clear. If you listen to that replay too much, a way to gauge if you are doing it too much is if you're getting really irritable, short-tempered, impatient, moody, lay off of listening to it. Like I would wait a couple of days until you listen to it again, like that three-day integration period, okay? I'm not, I don't have you contained in working with me, so I can't track with you the way I normally do. That was a pretty darn intensive trauma, trauma clearing like traumatic. So don't go at it too, like more better. It's not <laughs> with this. Because this can be fun and light and easy and graceful this and, and playful instead of it being like work and heavy. And I, I want that for all of you. So much love you all. I'm going to go now. It's like nearly 4 a.m. for me. <laughs> Night night, namaste. Good, thank you. Good night thank night, you. good night. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. God bless you. you. Thank you. God bless you. you. Thank 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 you.